What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture. We got a real new trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. By real, I mean a ton of new dialogue, new scenes, new looks. So let's jump into it right now. The multiverse. It's life or death. Could you use an Avenger? There are other Avengers. We'll get you back on the lunchbox. of the multiverse depends on us. No pressure, then. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Tickets on sale this Wednesday. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel and turning on that notification bell. But let's talk about that trailer. Lots of fun dialogue. And we even get something very important to go through. We've seen this scene of the gang, mostly Wong and Doctor Strange at Kamertaj. This is where we first saw Rintroth, and we also see all of them at some point looking up into the sky as an ominous cloud is kind of covering over the location. There was a rumor or theory going around that this was when Wanda was going to start attacking Doctor Strange, Wong, and the rest of the people in order to get to America Chavez so that she could use the multiverse on her own to get to the center of it where she's going to go find her kids. She needs America Chavez because she actually doesn't possess the ability to go through multiverses and that's what America Chavez does. In fact, it's even gone as far in certain plot links to say that she's actually been sending demons to America Chavez, destroying her home and making her run through the multiverse in order to survive to bring her to our multiverse, to bring her to our timeline so that she can use America Chavez to translate through that multiverse. It's a pretty awesome theory and personally I think it makes a lot of sense. However, here in this scene, very very briefly you can see the background matches that of Kamertaj. Now it's just as possible that she's attacking Kamertaj as it is that she's helping protect it, but the theory was that she was attacking it and we hadn't really seen Wanda there up until this point. So it does line up that there is a possibility that she's going to try to take out anybody she can to get to America Chavez at this point and move forward. However, also, this theory goes on to say that Wanda is pretending to be on their side until the point where she snaps and changes sides. So when Doctor Strange walks next to her at this orchard here, that is where she lives, she says, hey, go find somebody else, I don't want to do it, but that's all part of an act. She said, go find another Avenger, when Doctor Strange says, we need an Avenger, and he kind of jokingly says, we'll get you back on the lunchbox. Obviously, Wanda knows what's going on. Wanda is very, very capable, very, very powerful, and has learned, to an extent, how to use the Darkhold. What that extent is, we don't know just yet, but we know for a fact she's been studying it, and she's ready to use it to her own advantage, and that advantage is to get her kids. That's her main priority right now. She wants her kids. She knows they exist in the multiverse, and she'll do whatever it takes to get them. She's not trying to live a little quiet life out in an apple orchard, just, you know, spending her days being cool. She's trying to do something very specific, and that is first and foremost, get her children. But we also get another Wanda sequence, and this is when she has on her full new outfit, the one with the corrupt heart, which is either because of the dark hold, or she designed her suit that way because her heart is broken, that she's lost vision, she's lost her kids, she's lost everything. And we see her seemingly fighting alongside Wong. Now, there are a lot of questions whether or not Wanda is going to have a variant in this movie, but I'm going to tell you that I think she will. We've seen two Wandas together on screen already, and there have been a few different promotional pieces, whether they were t-shirts or posters that have come out, that have had two Wandas at the same time on those pieces. So, I think this Wanda that we have seen in the trailer before, who she's walking up to in what seems to be Westview setting, is a variant of Wanda. So, it's very likely that this Wanda fighting with Wong was our Wanda, or is the variant Wanda and the other Wanda, which is our Wanda, has gone bad, and the variant Wanda, you know, I don't know exactly where it lines up. Wanda is the big main antagonist of this movie. There's going to be somebody behind the background, probably pulling the strings, kind of messing with her head, but for the majority of the movie, if it's a two and a half hour long movie, for two hours and 15 minutes, it's going to be Wanda. So... Is it our Wanda? Is it a variant of Wanda? Are they secretly working together? Is one Wanda trying to chase down the other to stop her from being terrible and evil? These are all details we don't yet have. But if I had to say off of my own intuition and my own studying and research of what's happening in this film, I would say our Wanda from our universe is going to be the problem creator. But it's super, super exciting. I have so much hope for this film. I think it's going to be one of the biggest stepping stones in Marvel movie history. 
And I specifically call it a stepping stone because Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, that was a finale. That was an ending. I think that Multiverse of Madness is not an ending, but a beginning. It is bringing us to the real new era of the MCU. We're going to see the repercussions of the multiverse and what actually will be coming of it in this movie. We've seen it happen in Loki. We've seen it happen in Spider-Man No Way Home. But we haven't had any real repercussions just yet. Now, after this film, once we get to Loki Season 2, we're going to have a real grasp and understanding of how the multiverse works and how it can affect the MCU moving forward. Okay, a little intermission here. I just rewatched the trailer and I was just trying to see if there was anything I missed before I finished up the video. The scene I was talking about where Wanda is seemingly fighting with Wong, they're fighting also with this big demon behind him. I don't know who he is off the top of my head. I, I don't have him identified. I have to do a little looking into it to find out. But it didn't look like he was a good guy earlier in the trailer when he's kind of going raw and screaming at the trailer. And now it looks like Wong, who pulls out a sword, and Wanda are fighting with the demon since they're facing away from him towards the camera. And he's behind them. So maybe Wong, or this variant of Wong that we're seeing, is also a bad guy fighting with Wanda for some type of cause of destroying the hierarchy of the multiverse. I don't believe it's our Wong. There's no way. Our Wong is a very good, wholesome, good guy with a great heart and great intentions. However, maybe there's a Wong out there who is anti-Sorcerer Supreme or is the real Sorcerer Supreme to the max in his world and he's trying to take down the multiversal order and him and Wanda are teaming up here and fighting with this demon that maybe she summoned from the Darkhold. It's very interesting. I'm, I'm a little confused by it, if I'm being honest with you guys, and I did just notice it just now. This seemingly is the location, the temple at the very end. We've heard rumors that they're trying to get to the center of the multiverse where there's this temple, and there is where Wanda will be able to get her kids back. And I don't know. This is a very interesting thought, but let me know what you guys think about this specifically down below. It does look like Wong and Wanda are fighting together with the help of a demon, and... Uh, off the top of my head, I don't have any answers for that other than maybe Wong is bad too, or there's a bad variant of Wong out there as well. But overall, a very awesome trailer. It was only 30 seconds long, but it was either all new dialogue or new footage, lots of different things to poke out and see. Obviously, we got new looks at Wanda. Now we see Wong and Wanda fighting alongside a demon, and there's dialogue of Wanda talking to Doctor Strange about not wanting to be called in, and she can go or he can go and find another Avenger. Super exciting, super fun, always. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. Curious how excited people are for this movie. I've heard kind of mixed thoughts. Some people think it's not going to be that good, whereas a lot of you guys are super excited as I am. One of my most anticipated Marvel projects of the year. But thank you guys so much for watching till the end of the video. Make sure you turn on that subscribe button, or hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. And I'll see all you guys in the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.